Division One men's gold medal final, 18U, the venue, the legend center in beautiful Warman, Saskatchewan. The participants, the Swift Current Junior Sundogs out of the sense-making city of Swift, taking on the boys from the north, the Meadow Lake Heat, a potent volleyball program that once again has found its way in the finals here at 18U men's here in Warman. It's Ryan Schweitzer. Joining me is Shea Bolio. Shea, this is going to be a good one here, Swift Current. They didn't have an easy route to the finals, taking on a team of capable athletes from up north in the Meadow Lake heat. Yeah, I think that we're in for a barn burner on this one, Ryan. I think both teams um, had a hard weekend to get to where they are, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to see it unfold. Lots of passion out there right now. There is a palpable energy in the room. It's North versus South in this final here. Swift Current from the southwest corner of the province taking on Meadow Lake from the Great White North here. Some potent hitters on both squads. Good fundamentally sound players. Les Collins' crew from Swift Current taking on Shane Dallin's crew from Meadow Lake. We're ready to go here. The libero for the heat about to check in here. And we're just moments away from getting ready to go here in this 18U final. Here in Meadow Lake, we see Henry Rempel, the athletically inclined young man from Swift Current. Amazing vertical on this kid. He's got a hard swing. He'll be a key contributor for the Swift Current Sundogs. On the other side, you got Jace Timmer for the Meadow Lake Heat, who comes in with plenty of hype behind him. We're ready to go. The Heat are set to serve. Mason Gorski induces play. Theo Schlamp, the libero, setting up the aforementioned Henry Rempel. Off the block, out of bounds, point Sundogs. Good first kill for number 12. I think that he's obviously going to be one of their key players, and I think if the Heat want to find success, they're going to have to find a way to shut him down early. Henry Rempel, as advertised, checking in early. This is going to be Brett Tizey who's about to serve for the Sundogs out of Swift. Tizey, no spin on that ball whatsoever. Rempel at the net, deposits it hard back in the Heat court. Now Tizey. Goes back door and off of no one. Ball sails out of bounds. Getting the swing there was Parker Bloom. And a good take by the Meadow Lake Heat as 1-1 is where we find ourselves now. Set to serve. Tyler Mont Tylee Montgrand for the Heat. Native of Laloche, Saskatchewan. Montgrand, good hard serve. Schlamp, Tizey. And tipped over the net. Good job of sending that over by Bloom. Heat running around a little bit. They battle at the net, and Swift Kernt ends up getting the point there. Good job by the Sundogs. They'll serve Rempel, set to deliver this ball into the Meadow Lake court. Rempel, spin serve, and spinning hard into the opposition court, played by the Heat. Big swing, Schlamp is there. Tizey, Rempel from the back. He's fired up his team. <laughs> yeah, another good swing from Rempel already. Uh, the Heat's got to find a way to put some hands up and get in front of them. Rempel serving moments ago, but jumping from the back to the front, showcasing those hops that he has. And quick lead now for the Sundogs out of Swift. Rempel, that spin serve again. Drilled hard into the forearms of the Heat. Libero off the block and right back in at the Heat, Nick Rutten. Buries that off the block. Heat will get the serve. Heading into the service area is the aforementioned Rutten, who delivered that point moments ago. No spin on that ball whatsoever. Rempel, Tizey, quickly tipped over the net by Jansen. Now a big swing off the block. Heat recover. They're scrambling, lining up off the block. Good rally by these two teams now. Tizey, Schlamp. And sent over the net by Matthews. Judah Matthews, not what he's expecting, but it's a Sundog point. So far, so good for the team from Swift Current. Yeah, Swift Current's looking really good. Um, pretty unorthodox play, but when the momentum's in your favor, uh, that's going to score. Now serving for Swift Current. And delivering that ball into play is Jansen. Running around are the Heat. Whistle blows. Point Swift Current. They have a 5-2 lead now. As a good start, Swift Current in the forefront of your screen. Black with the white trim taking on the Heat. Black jerseys with white trim also as Matt Jansen induces play. Big swing, Timmer. Good take, Swift Current. So far, so good by, for the Swift Current squad as Jansen serves. His team is up 6-2 here in this 18U Div 1 men's final. 
Matt Jansen sends the ball in, played by Montgrand. Three hits off the block. Rempel diving and trying to corral that ball, but that's going to pinball through the swift current court and out of bounds. That's a key point for the Heat. Yeah, absolutely. The Heat are off to a little bit of a slow start, but um, I think just doing what is in their control and, yeah, keep pecking away now. Jace Timmer, his team down three, 6-3 the score. Timmer hammers that ball into play. Rempel ties he. Back door and tipped over by Bloom. Now the Heat, Timmer from the back, dug by Rempel. Bloom sends it over the net. Great heads up play. Parker Bloom into the opposition court. 7 3 Sundogs. Yeah, great heads up play by the Sundogs, and the Heat just weren't quite ready for it. Parker Bloom had that key touch moments ago. Gets play going. Heat. Big swing out of bounds off of no one. Adam Revit liked the swing that he put on that ball, but Swift Current's a good take, getting out of the way of that high-velocity screamer through their court. They get a point. It's 8-3 in favor of the Sundogs out of Swift. Coach Les Collins liking what he sees from his squad so far as Bloom sends that over. One touch, second hit, Mason Gorski, and set over the net by Timmer. Tizey! And a good dig by Timmer. Sent over the net, Theo Schlamp. Ties E and Rempel! But that's pinballing through the court and Montgrand pushes it over. Good recovery, Meadow Lake. Now Swift with a shot, a little overcooked as Matthews sent that through the court. He knew right away he didn't quite get the swing he wanted. Point Meadow Lake, 8 4. Yeah, great defense by number six for Meadow Lake. He really kept his team alive and shutting down number 12. Yeah, that's huge for Meadow Lake. Jace Timmer, six black, far court, Meadow Lake. He's a horse for his squad. Now serving Carson Gauthier, Rempel, Tizey, backdoor, Bloom! Pinballing out of bounds off the libero. Jake Willick trying to get a piece of that and get, well, get out of the way is what he tried to do, but it got a small piece of him. 9-4 lead Sundogs, prepped to serve, Judah Matthies. Matthies gets some last minute instruction from Coach Collins. Drills that to the back of the court. Set, Montgrand, and a nice play by Bloom. Tizey, Rempel, finding the back of the court. Hops from Rempel, point swift. Yeah, that was a great shot. I think that was over top of the block and uh, fell in the back corner. That's a hard ball to defend, hard ball to defend. Very hard, and that's gonna trigger a timeout. Shane Dallin, coach of the Meadow Lake Heat, having a chat with his boys. I, I think these teams fairly evenly matched. Both had to be good to get here, but so far, so good. Swift Current has to be happy with this start. Yeah, absolutely. They are dominating at the moment. Um, I think the Heat have to take a moment, regroup, and uh, come back with what they have. Meadow Lake Heat and the Swift Current Sundogs. Going toe-to-toe -to -toe here in the final at the beautiful Legend Center in Warman. 10-4 lead for Swift. Henry Rempel has been a key contributor. On the flip side, really like what we're seeing from Jace Timmer. He's given his team a chance. But Swift Current. Everything coming up daisies for them so far here in this 18U final. A few extra words here from Shane Dallin. Heat break, and it's going to be Judah Matthews serving for Swift. And we're back. Good timeout, Meadow Lake. Coach's point. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Coach's point for Meadow Lake. Now up, Adam Revit. Libero subs out, checking into this one. Nick Rutten. Revit serves. Schlamp. Tizey. And sent over the net by Zach Glyden. Setter dump there from the heat. Good heads up play by Mason Gorski. However! Rempel continues to deliver 11-5, boom shakalaka. 
Yeah, another great swing from 12. I think Meadow Lakers block drifted just a little, opening up that seam, and number 12 found it. Zach Glyden now will serve for Swift Current. They're up 11 to 5, a six point lead for the Sun Dogs. Plenty of chatter at the net, as you often see in these high stakes games. Glyden over. Setter for Maple Creek has to chase that down. Good job by Gorski, but he sends it to the back of the court and sent over the net by Goche. Good block there. Tylee Montgrand, great presence at the net, just rejecting that swing from Swift, Point Meadow Lake. Yeah, nothing like a good solo block to get your team fired up, so that's a big point for Meadow Lake. Mason Gorski, who's been running around as the setter for Meadow Lake, serving now. Sends that ball over to awaiting Theo Schlamp. And again, it's almost automatic with 12 black in this first set. Yeah, he found the seam again, so I think Metal Lake's got to find a way to close that up. Henry Rempel, about eight feet away from the net when he lowered the boom on that too. Just tremendous athleticism from this kid is Brett Tizey. Tizey's been feeding Rempel this game. The setter for Swift sends that over. Montgrand, Rempel there, quick block. And at a great heads up play there, Parker Bloom, who's been strong on that right side, 13-6 Swift. Yeah, he's been doing a really great job. Meadow Lake's panicking just a little bit, it looks like. So just got to get a good first pass to run their offense. First set here has been the Swift Current Sundogs show. Still lots of volleyball left in this one. It's a game of momentum, and it can shift so easily and so frequently. However, Tizey, that serve, just pinballing off the forearm of Goche. Goche being the good team guy and saying, that's on me. And Swift Current with a 14-6 lead. Les Collins, coach for the Sundogs, fired up. Sending instruction to his squad. A few subs by Meadow Lake as they're scrambling a little bit and their coach looking for a winning combination or some sort of spark here in this 18U final. Tizey sends it over. Willick plays it. And just a little bit of mad scrambling here. 15-6, Swift Current leads. I think Swift has had a strong start, but Meadow Lake may be shooting themselves a foot on a few occasions too. Yeah, I would definitely agree. I think Meadow Lake really needs that first pass so their setter can run all three options, and right now they're being pretty hesitant, so makes it tough. These teams have to be fundamentally sound to get here. Swift Current has, has everybody on the same page. Tizey setting up Rempel and occasionally Matthews. Bloom a strong presence at the net as well. Theo Schlamp, their libero, doing everything you could ask a libero to do. And on the flip side, second time out called in this first set by Meadow Lake Heat coach Shane Dallin. What do you think he's saying to his crew now? I think he's saying, let's focus on the pass, let's wash the score, and let's just start playing our game again. Wash the score, that's a key piece of advice. They trail by nine right now, 15-6 lead for the Swift Current Sun Dogs. Serving will be Brett Tizey. Heat ready to receive. Tizey lowers the boom, sends it over to the net. Willick, Gorski, and a good play at the net to deposit that in an open spot by Nick Rutten. That is just what the doctor ordered for Meadow Lake. <laughs> yeah, good heads up play by number three. Putting the ball on the floor for his team, they, they really need at that point. Diley Montgrand gets acquainted with some of the fans along the wall here in this packed Legend Center. Montgrand, good serve, Schlamp, Tizey, and a big swing, Bloom off the block. And the Sun Dogs right back at it. Yeah, that was a great swing, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, he's got a lot to court to swing at, and he found it. Henry Rempel, who's in his zone in this final. Set to serve. Likely see that spin serve coming from 12. As that has paid the bills this game and just rattles that off the top of the net. Willick, Gorski, backdoor, Timmer. Good play, Rempel, and Rempel sends that over the net. He's dangerous from anywhere on the court. Timmer, though, spinning ball off the block, changing direction. Not the hardest swing Timmer's ever had, but it 
gets the job done this time around. It'll be eight serving 16. Yeah, good swing from six. I think that we need to see a lot more um, contribution from him for his team to find success in this set. Nick Roten, who's had a strong game as well thus far for the Heat. Schlamp. Tizey sends that over. Matthews off the top of the net. Rutten with the first hit. Montgran from the back. Doug Rempel. Schlamp chasing after that. Tizey. Rempel. He's everywhere. He covers so much ground. Great job, too, by Tizey to set him up behind the back play. Those two with amazing chemistry. Yeah, absolutely. That was a great setup to Rempel and good on Rempel for being ready to, to attack that ball. 2 and 12, a potent combo. Tizey running all over the court to get that ball to Rempel, who from 10 feet away from the net was able to put a good swing on it. Ball is pinballing through, and Rempel pushes that to the back. Montgran from the back corner sets it up. Gorski, quick, good take, swift, Revit. Put that through the back of the court. Didn't go off anybody, and it's 18-8 swift. Yeah, Metal Lake just can't quite find their timing uh, between their setter and their attacks, um, and that makes it really tough to, to score. Jansen. Float serve. Willick. Gorski. Back door. Timmer. And Timmer just lowered the boom there. That's exactly what Meadow Lake needs if they want to get back into this one. 9-18. Yeah, great swing by six. Finding back door and uh, deep in the court. That'll score. The aforementioned Jace Timmer. Finds the just right spot on the court to go through his pre-flight checklist before delivering to Rempel. Tizey and Bloom far side. Montgrand chasing after that is Willick. Second hit. And Montgrand will pass that ball over the net. Neufeld. Tizey and off the block out of bounds. Judah Matthews. Whammo. Point swift. <laughs> yeah, it looks like Swift Current has any shot that they want right now. So looking pretty strong on this side of the court. Yeah, just bullies at the net in this first set here. As Bloom delivers that ball. Willick, Gorski, nice setter dump. However, Swift Current wise to that. Tizey. And Rempel will set that over the net. Willick goes after it. Gorski off the block. And right where he needed to be, Zach Glyden. Solo block. Or that landed on the other side of the net. My bad. Got to work on the depth perception here. Point heat. Yeah, good dynamic approach by number 12, and yeah, just snuck it through through the block's hands. 12, Adam Revit, and serving moments ago, Brody McCammond as Tizey. Good swing there by Matthews off of personnel, and sent over the net, whistle blows, point swift. As it looks like personnel from the heat tied up in the net, 20-10 lead swift. So Swift Current winning the race to 20 with authority here is Judah Matthies. Delivers that ball into the opposition court. McCammon diving stab. Gorski and setting up Montgran and Montgran into the upper body of Bloom. That's what Meadow Lake needed, something to fire up their bench. Yeah, good swing by number nine. Um, he swung back door on that one outside of the... Blocker's hands and scored a point. Tylee Montgrand with that big swing moments ago. Walker Mace now. His first serve of the game for the Meadow Lake Heat. 11 serving 20. Mace, Schlamp, Tizey. And Tizey and Rempel and company have worked really well together thus far. However, the contact is what happened there. Referee not liking something there. It's going to be a timeout swift current as Les Collins wants to nip this in the bud with his team up 2010 or 2012. Rather. Yeah, yeah, you've got to stay um, aggressive on swift current side. And if you're on Meadow Lake side, you just got to keep chipping away. Meadow Lake hasn't really had any momentum up until this point. They've got a couple consecutive points in a row, hence Les Collins triggering the timeout on the swift current bench. Swift with a strong start. They lead this one 20 to 12 here. First set, race to 25. Collins going through some fundamentals with his team, but I think mostly just trying to settle everybody down. And on the flip side, Shane Dallin, finally with a few positive coachable moments to work with over the past few points. 
Yeah, for sure. I think he's really got to um, pump his players' tires at this point, you know, say, look, guys, we got to get out there. We got to play our game. And right now they're just kind of feeding into Swift Current's game. So it'll be a serve for Meadow Lake, Walker Mace. Mace serves. Tizey, Rempel, dug by McCammon. Rempel at the net, battling with Gorski. And some encroachment on the net. Rempel and Gorski going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That's a big point for Meadow Lake, and it fired up their fans. Yeah, that's a really big point for Meadow Lake, especially to shut down number 12 one-on-one. -on -one. Yep, Gorski grinning like a butcher's dog after he was able to momentarily neutralize Neufeld. Schlamp, Tizey Neufeld's going to get another shot here, and he tips this time, but Gorski heads up again. Back-to-back -back heads up plays by the setter, seven black, Mason Gorski. Yeah, that's exactly what Meadow Lake needs right now is some momentum, and especially against number 12, I think that that's really going to fire their team up. Yeah, don't look now. 14-20, still a pretty big mountain to climb for Meadow Lake, but they have scratched their way back into this one to make it respectable here in the first set. And that ball will just careen out of bounds, catch a little bit of a jet stream and float out. Zach Glyden to serve now for Swift Kern. His team up 21-14, so still a comfortable lead for Swift. They'd like to keep it that way. They're up a converted touchdown is Montgrand. Gorski now back to Montgrand. Good swing there off the hands of Neufeld. And out of bounds. Big point, Meadow Lake. Yeah, good swing by number nine. Uh, one on one and number 12. Kind of hesitated. I think he's just got to go be aggressive and dig that ball. Meadow Lake, it'll be tough in this first set. 21-15, but they have built some momentum heading into the rest of it as Newfeld. that's what he needed. The last few series hadn't gone his way, but he checks back in big time. <laughs> yeah, he really buried that one. Just a big swing with authority. That's all you need to say. Lowered the boom. Brett Tizey now, 22-15 Swift. Hundreds of people watching this one. Tizey served. Looks like it handcuffed McCammon momentarily, but they still get it to Timmer, who overcooks that one just to scotch. And 23-15. Swift Current getting a little momentum back here towards the end of this first set. You know, the second set will be ultra competitive, as second sets are wont to be. A few personnel changes on the Meadow Lake side of the court. And just a brief discussion with the captains over with the official. Timmer and Rempel having a chat. Looks like everyone's got the explanations that they needed. Brett Tizey set to serve in a sea of humanity here at the Legend Center in Warman. Tizey, good hard serve. Montgrand and Tizey throws a strike, 24-15. Yeah, great clutch serve by number two. That ball's moving hard and fast, and that's a hard ball to handle for the serve receivers. Yeah, that had some velo on it. Tizey, his team one point away from a first set win, up 24-15. Tizey goes spin serve this time with his team with a big lead. Brody McCammon digs it at the net, blocked, and sent over by Schlamp subsequently. Gorski and Neufeld at the net, and this time Neufeld will win that battle of two capable players, and that'll be a Swift Current W for the first set, a set that saw a few different twists and turns, but Swift Current by and large with most of the momentum. Yeah, Swift Current had a really strong start, um, so I think that Meadow Lake needs a strong, stronger start even in the in the second set if they wanna if they wanna be competitive in this game. 25-15, Meadow Lake certainly had their moments and they were able to string a few consecutive points together, but it's 0-0 now. Second set straight ahead here in this 18U men's Division One final. 
Welcome back. Second set action here. Swift Current and Meadow Lake. The Meadow Lake Heat against the Swift Current Junior Sun Dogs. It was a decisive 25-15 win for Swift Current. I think in that first set, Ryan Schweitzer here along with Shea Bolio. I think that first set, Shea Swift Current really came out fired up and Meadow Lake just really never had a chance to establish what they want to do. Yeah, absolutely not. Meadow Lake didn't run quite the offense that they wanted. Um, so I think this set establishing their offense really early is going to be key. Interestingly enough, Meadow Lake mixing things up here. They're going to start their best player on the bench as Timmer is going to sit out. Scouting reports telling us that Timmer is the player to watch. Swift Current serving. Libero Jake Willick in for Meadow Lake. Zach Glyden serving for Swift. The aforementioned Willick. Gorski setting up Montgrand. And that is just through everybody. Swift Current elects not to contest that. No personnel touching that. Swift Current getting the first point, gliding to serve. Yeah, good job by Swift Current getting four hands up and in on number nine. Number nine forced him to make a shot and just couldn't quite execute it. Swift Current, black and white, far court on your screen. Meadow Lake, black with red trim, forefront of your screen. And now Meadow Lake ready to serve. Carson Goche. Ready to deliver. 1-1 one, one the score. Matthews and a good swing put on that ball by Matt Jansen. Stays in bounds for him. Big point Swift Current. They lead it 2-1. Get serve back. Setter Brett Tizey, who had a strong first set. He made some difficult plays look easy. That's what I really liked about Tizey's game in that opening set. Sends that ball over. That's off the shoulder of Brady Diabald. And point Swift Kern off that hard serve by Tizey. We saw that happen in the first set as well. Some good heat coming off that serve from two. <laughs> yeah, he, he definitely puts the pressure on the passers with his serve. Tizey again to serve here. His team up 3-1. Floats that ball over this time. Brady Diabald grabs it. Gorski and punched over the net by Revit. Now Newfeld, that's blocked. And point Swift Kurnt as Meadow Lake personnel in the net trying extra hard to contain that swing from Rempel. Yeah, I think number nine just got a little too excited, got a little too aggressive and just grazed the top of the tape. So point for Swift Kurnt. 4-1 they lead. Now Tizey delivers that ball into the opposition court. Montgrand will get another swing at it. Blocked by Rempel but out of bounds. That ball spinning off the Rempel block. Got a big piece of it, but just landing out of bounds. And now Jace Timmer checks in for the first time in this second set. Serving for Meadow Lake is Adam Revit. Bloom. Tizey, he's going to try and find Rempel. And once again, Rempel does what he does, lowering the boom. 5 2 Swift. Yeah, we can expect nothing less from number 12. Finding, finding a hole in the block and putting the ball away. He's fired up. Good athleticism and very animated in his play as well. He'll serve. That spin serve from Rempel paid the bills in the first set. Tried here in the second. Just such velo and movement on that ball. And no answer coming from Meadow Lake. Point swift. And good things again happening for Swift Current with a quick four-point lead here, second set. Yeah, missed timing play for Meadow Lake. That that's, uh, makes it tough. Rempel will try and land that spin serve again. This time it's the libero who makes first contact. Willick setting up Montgrand. Good dig. Rempel and pushed over by Schlamp. And point Meadow Lake. Les Collins, Swift Current coach, not a fan of that call, but Point Meadow Lake. Yeah, great dig by number 12 on Swift Current. That's a, that's a tough call by the ref, but. He had a better look at it than we did. That's what we go with here. So Montgrand sends that over, Schlamp plays it. And this time trying to get it over the net and just doing so in four hits. Montgrand under the net and missed. Swift Current ends up getting the point anyway. As on that play, 
Tylee Montgrand digging that ball, slid under the net. He was well into Swift Current's court. That call wasn't seen, so point Swift. Now the referee's talking to each other, so all sort of. A few adventures here. Matt Jansen, 7-3, Swift Current lead. Float serve Jansen, Goche back, Willick blocked. Swing, Matthies, Willick, Glyden at the net. Zach Glyden depositing it back towards the opposition. 8-3, Swift Current. Yeah, good high reach by number eight and good patience. Um, yeah, and then just put that ball down into an open spot. Matt Jansen. The Swift Current Sundog who's set to serve in this second set. Floats it over the net, played by Goche, Gorski. And Gorski and Timmer just not quite on the same page. That would have been a great opportunity, but a bit of an opportunity missed for Meadow Lake. Yeah, they have number six swinging out of the middle right now, which I'm not sure they do a lot, so maybe that's a, a key timing issue. That timing issue is going to trigger a timeout here by Shane Dallin, the coach for Meadow Lake, as he once again is trying to settle down the troops. And i got to give Les Collins and Swift Current credit. They had a great start coming out, their team. Whatever they did leading up to this start seemed to work for them. They came out fired up and really haven't given Meadow Lake much to work with. No, yeah, they've been putting the pressure on Meadow Lake's passers, and I don't, Meadow Lake hasn't quite been able to get that ball to the net, and their setter can't run all three options, and then even when the pass is there, they can't seem to quite find their timing. But on the flip side, you know, what are some of the things that you see? We talk about fired up and playing well, but what are some of the things you're seeing Swift Current doing right here? Oh, Swift Current's making it look pretty easy. Um, they're playing great defense. They're, they're swinging around the block when they got four hands in front of them, and, yeah, they're just keeping the pressure on. It was a war of attrition. I was talking to Les Collins before the game for Swift Current. It was a war of attrition for them to get here, but they seem to be on cruise control here in this final. 9-3 they lead. It's still potentially plenty of volleyball left to be played. Meadow Lake got to the finals here for a reason, and we haven't seen them at their best yet. And as we know in this great sport, momentum can change by the second. Gauthier, Gorski, blocked, pinballing through, and Tizey pushes it over. Timmer jumps up for it. And Timmer didn't put that ball through the floor or anything, but he got his team a point. Yeah, sometimes unorthodox plays are the ones that score. And they need some of those plays. They need all sorts of things to start going their way. 9-4 Meadow Lake trailing. Serving now is Brady Diabald. Diabald. And Diabald, no answer there. As Henry Rempel just couldn't plant himself properly to return that serve. Yeah, I think number 12 wants that one back. I think he's saying, serve it to me again here. He wants it. We'll see if Diabald obliges. Well, this time, first set contact, Matthews. And it's going to be Bloom that lowers the boom. If the right hand don't get you, the left one will for this Swift Current team. Yeah, great shot down the line. Um, the little barrel for Meadow Lake just couldn't quite handle it. Parker Bloom buried that ball in the opposition court moments ago. Now he'll serve. Bloom, Montgrand, Gorski, back to Timmer. And that's what Meadow Lake needs. They haven't had that a lot, just drilling that one off the block. Judah Matthies trying to reject that ball, but a good swing from Timmer. Yeah, a great swing from six. He had four hands in front, and he just utilized them. He'll serve now, Jace Timmer. 10-6, Swift Current leads it. We'll see what Swift Current has in their bag of tricks to respond. They've been able to stymie momentum relatively well whenever Meadow Lake has had the chance. Tizey sends that ball back to Meadow Lake's court with authority. And Meadow Lake unable to get that ball back over the net in the legal number of touches. 11-6, Swift Current leads. Judah Matthies. Will Express deliver this ball to the opposition court momentarily. He goes through his pre-serve routine. And we'll do it again. Everybody ready? All the stray volleyballs are off the court. All the children are under control. Playing surface is clean. Matthews delivers. Willick, Gorski, big swing, Glyden. Nice reflex move by Glyden. Schlamp will have to push that over. Third hit, Willick. 
Gorski. And Gorski with a big swing right into the visage of the libero schlamp. That'll fire the team up. Yeah, that's a good kill from number 12 and a good set by uh, number seven from Meadow Lake. I appreciate him getting his middles involved. Adam Rebbett able to put that swing on that ball. 11-7 is the lead for Swift Current. Four-point deficit, Meadow Lake. Gorski, the setter, Schlamp, Glyden, and Rempel will send that over. Gorski running to the front of the net. Big swing, Goche. And that's how focused Rempel is on tracking down volleyballs. Doesn't matter where it is, he's going off hit for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can tell he's in the zone right now. He's uh, and he's a competitor. He's not letting anything drop. Certainly isn't. Gorski, Schlamp, Tizey, off the block, out of bounds. Montgrand trying to reject Rempel, but Rempel just that Herculean physicality getting his team the point. Yeah, absolutely. I think number nine wanted that one a, a little too much. I think he's just got to go up, take away space, be disciplined, and then let his uh, defenders defend behind him. Zachary Glyden now. It's a 12-8 lead Swift. Glyden. Serve Montgrand, Gorski, and Timmer checking in. He puts a big swing on that ball. That's what Meadow Lake's going to need, especially from six black. Jace Timmer. Yeah, absolutely. We haven't seen him too much, and he is one of their key players, so we really got to get him involved if Meadow Lake wants to find success. Carson Goche, his team down three, nine serving 12. Shane Dallin deploys the instructions. Rempel, Tizey, Rempel. And just when things start to go well for Meadow Lake, that's been what's been happening to benefit Swift. Yeah, Meadow Lake's just caught a little bit on their heels. They're so used to Rempel just coming so hard at them that a little, he took a little bit off that one and change up works. Tizey, the setter. We've seen some high velocity serves from two for the Sun Dogs. Coming in hot, and that time played well by Meadow Lake. Play at the net, whistle blown. Floor official not liking the contact that was utilized to get that over. Meadow Lake disagreeing with that assessment, but it'll be a point swift current. And Tizey set to serve. What'd you see there? Uh, I, from this angle, he looked clean, but like we said earlier, the ref has a better view than we do. They, they do. We'll go with that. Thank all officials for their efforts and the time they donate as you gotta be good to be lucky and Tizey, lucky bounce. His team's up 15-niner. Like the game that I've seen from Tizey a lot too. No matter what seems to happen on first contact, he gets himself there to be able to set up Neufeld or uh, Rempel in the crew. And he's had a strong game both serving and being the setter for the Sun Dogs. Tizey, another good hard serve. Revit, Gorski, Montgrand. Off the block, out of bounds. Good swing, Tylee Montgrand. Yeah, good swing. That one, he uh, he swung pretty low to the tape, um, but caught the arm at number 12 and wipe off the block. Adam Revit now. 15-10 lead for Swift Kearns in the far court. Revit sends that over. The libero schlamp is there. Tizey. And a nice quick set from Tizey. Great swing there by Jansen. Matt Jansen getting the opportunity to get involved in the offense. 16-10 will be the lead Swift. Henry Rempel to serve. Good hard serve. Willick, Gorski, backdoor Montgrand. And that ball sailing out of bounds. Good tailwind on that. No swift current touches there. 17-10 swift. Yeah, I don't think number nine quite got his feet there. And then the set uh, floated just a little bit past him and tried to cut it back, but cut it too hard. Another spin serve forthcoming from Rempel. Jumps, hammers. The libero. Willick plays that. Gorski. McCammon, Brody McCammon tips that over. Now Rempel, who's just everywhere. This time not quite positioned where he need to be. 17-11 point Meadow Lake. Yeah, that set pushed him a little bit further than uh, his usual back row attack zone. Um, yeah, just tried to cut it too hard. Tylee Montgrand. Native of La Loche, Saskatchewan. 
Montgran, good hard serve, no reply coming from the Swift Current side. Montgran bringing heat, 17-12. Yeah, number nine seems to uh, be the player that's kind of keeping this Meadow team in it. Montgrand, he has had a strong afternoon thus far. Here in the second set, 17-12. The score, Swift Current with a first set, 25-15 win. Montgrand drills that over. Jansen, Tizey, Bloom off the block. Brody McCammon getting up there, but that block sailing out of bounds. Swift Current staying disciplined. With a good take, 18-12. Swift leads it. Matt Jansen. Willick, Gorski, Timmer. And that's off the top of the net and just sailing out of bounds. Rempel, I think, wanted to get up and block that, but he blew a tire. But in any event, that one just off the top of the net and out of bounds. A bit of a swift current break. So Swift has played well and even had luck on their side, too. Yeah, they certainly have. Uh, that last play we saw, six, just catch the top of the tape and out of bounds. And it just there's no flow on the Meadow Lake side. So that's pretty tough. Yeah, they've had a tough time establishing their game here, Meadow Lake has. Shane Dallin at the front of your screen chatting with his bench. Every coaching trick in the book, Dallin is needed tonight, but Swift Current, a winning recipe thus far. A decisive first set win and seven point lead, 19-12, they lead it here in the second set. It's not insurmountable for Meadow Lake, but on the flip side, Swift can't get overconfident either. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Metal Lake's got to show some serious grit and resilience, but I, I wouldn't count them out just yet. They're ready to go. Meadow Lake is. Swift Current will serve Matt Jansen. You can hear Swift Current coach Les Collins one point at a time. 19-12 lead, Swift Current in the driver's seat. Jansen. The dreaded coach's point comes into play for Meadow Lake. 19-13, McCammon to serve. <laughs> yeah, a big break for Meadow Lake. I see if they can utilize it. Brody McCammon. Gets play going. Matthies, first set contact, ties e and sent over the net by Rempel. Now Gorski, Timmer pushes it back. Timmer again pushes it back. And that contact again. Second time we've seen that play at the net there. And referee wanting to have a chat with the captains here with Timmer after his disagreement of that assessment. Yeah, he just got the ball a little bit behind his head and then brought it forward. So that's, yeah, that's a carry. That's a good call by the ref. Frustration starting to show a little bit. On the Meadow Lake side of the court, they're down 20 to 13. Parker Bloom looking to do his part in helping Swift Kern put the button on a big weekend. Goche, big swing. Matthies pulls that out of obscurity and sent over by Rempel. Now Gorski quick set. Goche off the block. And that ball sailing out of bounds. No touch on that, point Swift, all right. Yeah, that was a really good aggressive swing by 18. Um, yeah, just couldn't find hands or the court. So that's sailing through the court. Bloom, good serve that just touches the tape, and Matthews, rejection, 22-13. Yeah, he makes no mistake on that ball, no block, finds the back of the court. Well, it's starting to seem like a bit of a foregone conclusion here. Bloom ready. Les Collins, coach of Swift liking what he sees. Gorski, back door. Timmer points Swift as that one traveled through on the wrong side of the antenna. 23-13. Yeah, Meadow Lake just can't get anything going. Nothing seems to be going their way. It's volleyball is just looking like a hard game for them right now, unfortunately. Bloom, McCammond, Montgrand, and Goche sends it over where Schlamp is waiting. Tizey, and there goes Henry Rempel. 
lowering the boom again, 24-13. Yeah, number 12 is a force that can't be stopped right now. Um, everywhere, he seems to find a way to put the ball away. Well, timeout being called by Meadow Lake, and at this point, yeah, 24 on the board for the other team. Shane Dolan calling a timeout right now, but it seems as though all this is doing is delaying the victory party just a little bit, 24-13, and Swift Current one point away, and I imagine Les Collins' job right now is just keeping everybody grounded for this one more point. Yeah, absolutely. He says it. Uh, be ready to play defense. That's what he's telling his squad. The Heat trying to stay alive here. Second set. Parker Bloom. Bloom sends that just over the net. Willick, Gorski, and Jace Timmer, who has been wanting to do that all afternoon, finally gets the opportunity to really put some effort into one, 24-14. Yeah, I appreciate number six. He put that ball down with authority, and I think that that's more the, the Meadow Lake team um, that's been present all weekend, and they just weren't quite here for this game. 24-14, the lead for Swift Current, Timmer. Sends it over the net, Rempel, Tizey, sent over the net, and that'll do it. Every dog has its day, and the Sun Dogs have their day in the 18U Men's Division I gold medal. Heading back to Swift Current, a championship win that makes sense. Swift Current just came out to a great start in this one, Shane, just never looked back. Yeah, they played some great volleyball. They were in flow. They, uh, they had good chemistry between their setters and their attackers. Good passing. That makes it hard on Meadow Lake's team. They uh, put them in a lot of trouble. Well, a great job. I really like the one-two punch uh, Swift Kern had with Brett Tizey and Henry Rempel. Rempel was able to lower the boom from everywhere on the court. Swift Kern takes gold, 18U men's Division I final. 